bad things will kill them. They will run away. And if you want to know the truth, gather them. Let us come to Ibo land where the land of the where things are bad. And you hear from the horse mouth. White people did not do anything bad to you. It is only your black people did it. Envy and the jealous. That is what caused the problem. Our people have been living in peace there. But started multiplying. If I call a girl and didn't pick it, then you can you can ask the her. Ikechu, your own is not connecting. Let me connect with the uh, Chako Koli. Koli Chako, I'm bringing you online. Yeah. Greens, Hello, greens, greens. How are you doing? I'm doing good, brother. Yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good, brother. I, I, I just had to come online real quick, man, because I, I just want to clarify a few things, man. You know what I'm saying? This ain't really no debate. But, I mean, I, we can debate, but this ain't really no debate right now. Let me just clarify. Mm -hmm. just, let me just clarify what I'm saying and, 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 what I'm, and what I stand for and what I mean when it comes to Israel. This, this is the thing that people are not getting. Me, as a revolutionary new African freedom fighter from the Black Liberation Movement, I know you heard of the Black Panther Party. I know you heard of the Black Liberation Army. I know you heard of the Black Liberation Struggle of America, of Africans in America fighting for independence, fighting for Black Liberation here in the United States of America. So let me just clarify, that's who I'm a descendant of. I come from the Black Liberation Struggle, the Black Liberation Movement. My elders are esteemed scholars. These men have over 50 to 40 years of scholarship of challenging European lies in, in scholarship of what happened to our people in the slave trade. So let's get that clarified. People in the United States of America are not idiots. You see what I'm saying? We know what happened to our ancestors. A lot of people in Africa do not know what happened to their ancestors. A lot of people in Africa who suffered colonialism. This is the key word you got to get. Colonialism. Colonialism destroyed a lot of things and a lot of information of what happened to those ancestors in Africa. Many people that live in Nigeria, many people that live in West Africa do not know who financed the slave trade. They do not know how their ancestors got over here. I keep hearing you say that the African sellout Negroes in Africa should be held responsible for selling our ancestors over here. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. But this is the point you don't get, though. Who financed the slave trade? Who financed the ships? Who built the ships? Who took the Africans to the Americas? It wasn't the African leaders. It wasn't the African tribesmen. It wasn't the African traditional rulers. They didn't have, they, they had the money. They had the money to finance the slave trade, but they did not finance that aspect of the slave trade. So, yes, we must hold African traditional leaders responsible for selling our ancestors to the Americas. But, who facilitated the slave trade? Who financed the slave trade? So this brings me to my point. I do not hate Israel, but this is the point that a lot of Igbos and a lot of people in Africa don't get. There were Zionist, wealthy Jews in Europe. This is before the state of Europe came, I mean the state of Israel came into existence. So let me let me remind you, Israel did not become a nation state till 1948, brother. This is when they actually became a nation in 1948. Now, let's go back before 1948. Zionist wealthy Jews still existed. The ones who created Israel were a part of the slave trade, my brother. I have the records right here in Virginia. Those, some of those same Zionist Jews that created Israel, they moved to the United States, brother. And they still are part of the Israel government in Israel. So let me tell you this, where I live at, in Richmond, Virginia, where the most Africans were brought to in the slave trade, there were Jews, that there were Zionist Jews who created Israel, who moved to the United States of America and helped continue and facilitate the slave trade, brother. They got wealthy off the slave trade. Most of that wealth went into the economy of the Israel government you see today. 
That's the point y'all brothers don't get in Africa. That's the point y'all don't get in Igbo land. Zionist Jews were a part of the slave trade, brother. Let's stop, let's, let's stop playing these games and trying to pretend like they wasn't a part of the slave trade. So now let me bring you to how my people feel in America. This is what we stand on, bro. We are loyal to our ancestors, brother. Anything that happened to our ancestors, brother, we do not like. If, 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 if you are a if you are involved in the slave trade, black people in America don't like you. I don't care who you are. Israel, Britain, France, London, all that. Because y'all, because because the people in Africa, and I love my brothers and sisters in Africa, but y'all do not know what our ancestors went through in America on them plantations, brother. These people were on plantations, brother. They worked for free their whole life. They died with nothing, man. That is pain. Look at me, brother. I can't even speak Igbo language, bro. I can't even speak no African tongue. They stripped us of our language. They stripped us of our spirituality, brother. Most black people in America can't even speak no African language, period. We don't even know who we are, brother. So why would, why would Africans in Africa expect us to like Israel? No, we don't like nobody who helped finance the slave trade we don't like nobody who was involved in the slave trade we don't like it's not about skin color brother this is where you keep getting me twisted at it's not about skin color brother we don't hate people because of their skin color in america brother we don't hate white people we don't hate europeans bro we hate people who sold our ancestors into slavery brother that is the most dehumanizing act that ever took place on a people i know you can hear the pain in my voice brother we don't have more. If I, if I was to send for you right now, if I was to bring you to America right now, you would cry, bro, if you see the state of my people here in America, brother. Mentally. Mentally. They don't know who they are, brother. That's why we're going around killing each other every day. to disrespect our ancestors bro you see what i'm saying so that's the only point i'm trying to make to you i do not hate israel now if Igbo people want to identify with israel y'all want to align with israel but just keep this in mind brother you're disrespecting over a hundred million africans in the diaspora who were who were took from their homeland brought to south america brought to the All I'm saying is this. You have our brothers and sisters on the continent, right? Y'all just have to, y'all have to understand our pain. You have to understand why we don't have to like Israel. It's, it's nothing against Biafra. It's nothing against our people. You have to understand we are scattered all through the African diaspora, brother. Because of those people, that flag you got in the background, Britain, France. All those European powers, brother, the United States, they still align with each other, brother. Like, 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 let me make this one last point. If you go to Israel right now, brother, and you can Google this, and you ain't even got to Google this. You just got to find black people who live in Israel. Right now, Israel, they're trying to send Africans back to Africa. They don't like Africans in Israel, brother. The most oppressed people in Israel right now are people who look like you. They look just like you. They're at the refugees who be, who be sacrificing their life to leave Nigeria, the ones who cross over the European seas to get into Europe to find a better life. Brother, as soon as they get to Israel, brother, them people are being oppressed in Israel. Go look it up. Don't take my word for it. Go look it up. They're trying to kick blacks out of Israel right now. Right now, brother. Why, why, why can't Africans in Africa overstand that? You see what I'm saying? Now, this is my point. If y'all love us, if, 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 if Africans and Africans truly love your brothers and sisters in the African diaspora, then you got to understand why we don't like those certain nations. You have to, brother. You have to. Now, if you come to America right now, I'm not the only one talking like this. I'm not the only black that feel like this in America, brother, because we know this is the key point you got to get. We 
know what happened to our ancestors. Facts. Pure facts. We know what happened to those brothers and sisters. We know who brought them here. We know what ships they came on. We know the name of the ships. And we know the Europeans who financed those missions from Africa to here. And of course, I don't like those African traditional leaders who sold us. I don't like them neither. I don't like the, the sellout Negro Ebo people who sold our ancestors. And so I don't like them neither. I don't want to meet none of them. I just want to meet brothers and sisters just like you who can understand what happened to us, brother, so we can unite our brothers and sisters. And look, the most important thing before I finish, so we can reconnect with our culture, brother, and reconnect with our spirituality, brother. That's all we want. That's all we want from our brothers and sisters in Africa. We just want to reconnect with y'all, brother. Now, this, this, like I said, this ain't about white or black. This is about European colonialism. This is about European imperialism. Now, we have to hold them accountable, brother. We're not, we're not saying the whole, we're not saying the whole government of Israel, but some of those people in Israel are accountable for selling your ancestors, brother. This is pure facts. You got to hold them accountable. Or me and all these 43 million black people in the United States, we wouldn't be in America right now. How did we get here, brother? Now, like I said, when I commented in your comment box, I got a whole list of European nations that were involved in the slave trade. That's all you need to know. It's not lies. I'm not trying to lie to you, brother. I'm not trying to make up no shit to try to bash Israel. You see what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make up nothing. Like I said, my, my elders in the Black Panther Party, Black, Liber Black Liberation Army, they taught me well, brother. They taught me well. And my own research. I, I wouldn't make these things up. I'm not here to make these things up. I'm not here to persecute Israel. But the, the number one thing that I am going to do, I'm going to hold every European nation who was involved in my ancestor slave trade accountable. Period. But can I say something? Right, go ahead. Yeah. Because right now, those, those who weren't chiefs in Africa, Right. Are the people that is destroying what you need to know in Africa through religion, right. through Christianity. They yeah. went to our traditional houses and they keeping it, bur keeping burning the artifact and the everything that we preserve there. Mm -hmm. And they make us to be poor. They right. make us to be. They criticize us. Some of us we see us in the social media and say this man is ma is mad, he's crazy, he's out of senses. But they're the one making us to be traumatized and depressed. Right, right. What are chiefs? They're right. breaking Kola not with the name of Jesus. They're making our new yam festival. They cut our yam in the name of Jesus. Right. And they will tell you that Igbo language is dying, Igbo culture and tradition is dying. Why they are the people sitting in the traditional seat? Right. and traditional leader. Why they are not a, they don't know anything about the tradition? Exactly. My town is a, a my town is a place Chinua Achebe uh, referred at Umuofia. Umu is not Umuofia. That place is land of blacksmith. Right. But they create something looks like that near. And they call it Ekulobia. That is Ekulu visitor. The visitors who come from Ekulu. They make right. up something like that. So the ancient land map is not bearing the ancient name anymore. But the children are still bearing the ancient name. And those traditional houses looks like the one in Virginia Island, Virginia land. Exactly, yeah. That is where the ancestors come from. Mm. That's why I'm telling you people, you need to visit that place called Anambra State. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. We still have some more things there. Those African, those, those Nigerians, especially those land face and black face, right. they are the people who help people like me and you to slavery. What you people pass on there in America is what we are passing down there through in Igbo. Right. Check the leaders of the Igbo, the governors, the reverend fathers, and all of them. They are the dark skin. Because right. we have to, we have like history of Bantu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, exactly. On the Abyssinia. You know, Ethiopian side? We right, have, yeah. Yeah. So we looks like if you if we me and you go to Ethiopia now, 
People exactly. will, yeah. And I have this mark here. This mark, you see this mark? Right, yeah. You need to research more about this mark. It's very, very historical. You see? Uh -huh. You will find the people of uh, Ethiopia, uh, they call themselves Tigris. Exactly. And Afar. Afar. Afar people of Ethiopia and Afar people, of, uh, and Tigris people of Ethiopia. They exactly, have this yeah. Mark. Yeah. Some have some have two, some have one, some have three. My owner have three. Right. And some even have four. This is where our people write our history. We mm -hmm. still find this in uh, many countries in Africa. Right. We ask them different names, but with the same people, we look the same. We are yeah. the victim of the slavery. Right. Yes. And these Igbo people make a lot of mistakes too. Mm -hmm. Because they want to replace everything. These people promise them something. Exactly. And this is how they change our culture with the Christian religious knowledge. This is how...